Usually, you go out to eat fall because when you're cooking this koji soup at home, it takes a fall ever. But when you have a slow cooker, it's a totally different story. Let's get started. So I'm so excited to share this cheating chicken pho because you can make this either while you're sleeping, while you're at work or school. Perfect, right? First thing is we're going to toast our spices. So this is cinnamon. You will need about one stick, about two, three inch, and some black peppercorns and two cloves. They are super strong and liquid. And two to three star anise. They are star anise because they look like a star. Now, we are going to toast these spices on a dry pan until you can smell the aroma. Right now, you can smell anything. Now, see, you can smell all the spices, the beautiful, beautiful aroma. Turn up the heat and let's pack this tea bag. I'm going to just place all this in. The cinnamon, the star anise. All right, after you put in the tea bag, all you have to do is just cover it up like this. Now, I'm going to pop this into a slow cooker. And into the same skillet, we are going to toast our ginger. Keep the skin on the ginger when you're toasting them, so the skin actually seal all the um, flavors and aroma from ginger. And two medium-sized onion, just as it is. Do not peel it yet. And we are going to toast them until all the juice kind of oozing out. Until then, we are just going to keep, you know, turning around and toast them. Um, so it takes way too long. I need a swap. This is magic in the kitchen. Look, they're done. Ooh, perfectly roasted and toasted. All right. We are going to grab this onto the cutting board. It looks great. Now what I'm going to do is slice the ginger. Don't worry about the bun part, it's totally fine. And this one as well. That's the where all the flavor, you know, like a roasted flavor coming into. Now what we're going to do is peel the onion. So cut off the edge and then peel carefully. We just want that, you know, the outer skin part to come off. So remember, it doesn't have to be really perfect You because you want a little bit of that roasted flavor still on the onion. Right now, we are going to drop these onions and ginger into the slow cooker. And two chicken breasts. See, this is the perfect part. You don't have to use the whole chicken and dealing with this big piece of chicken, you know what I mean? So much easier, right? Because we are going to cheat it because it's cheating fall. We're gonna cheat it with some chicken stock. Now, we are going to add a little bit of rock sugar. You can use brown sugar or palm sugar or regular sugar if you don't have it, but I'm gonna add rock sugar today and some salt to season and some fish sauce to season. All right, so now all you have to do is like easy pea cover. Turn on your slow cooker on low six to eight hours, on high three to four hours. And we just let it be. All right, I think my foga is ready for me. So now what we're going to do is actually take all the solid ingredients out, all the chicken, onion, ginger, the tea bag, all the stuff. Okay. You can shred or slice chicken either way, it's totally up to you. I'm going to slice it just like that. All right, now let's cut up cilantro and green onion. Now, let's assemble the pho. Add some cooked rice noodles. Just add into the bowl. And then the broth. Just enough to cover the noodles and little, little above the noodles. Because you want lots of soup. All right. It's a nice decorating time. 
So what I'm gonna do is sprinkle this green onion chopped cilantro mixture right in the middle like that. And place sliced chicken on the side like that. And couple slices of red chili because it will pop out the color, which is I love. And you can serve as it is like this to the guests with this vegetable or herb platter so they can adjust however they want to eat. So this way, what I like to do, add some bean sprouts and some Thai basil. Just, you know, little leaf here and there, just like that. And this is culantro. It's amazing, amazing and fall. It tastes like really strong cilantro because their name is really similar, cilantro, culantro, but it's kind of a little minty too. So it's definitely, if you can find it, go ahead and do it. And the last, squeeze some lime right on top. Ooh. And just dunk in this to the soup. Cheating burger is ready. So sir, to your taste, some suriracha if you like spicy, some sambal, the chili paste, and some hoisin for more sweeter and saltier flavor to the soup. So it's totally up to you however you wanna eat. What I like to do is actually put some suriracha, suriracha. This is my suriracha dance. Yeah. Are you ready or what? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious.